Hey, hey, and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a simple iPhone X graph to use within one of your applications. So just to get started here, I'm going to fill in some of the standard iPhone X UI provided to us by Sketch. So I'm going to start with a header and just attach a lot of this from the symbol and then change it to what we need. So I'm going to use an Avenir font throughout, so I'm going to add that in now. And given we're using a darker background, I'm going to make a font color white. So I'll just go ahead and change that quickly. Now the context for the app that I'm going to be building here is essentially something around a, a call center mobile app, something where an admin can log in and look at reports and see how the calls are going, what the key metrics are looking like. So given that, I'm going to add in uh, some tabs down the bottom here to reflect that. I'm going to use a uh, home, then I'm going to have a second one for so case management, and the third one for the reports, which is what we're going to be working on today, and fourth for profile. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these labels, I don't need them, and I'm going to just make sure I detach them from the symbols so that I can nice and easily align the icons that I plan to use in their place. I am again going to be using the icon font plugin, which I'll include in the description. And I'm going to be using the uh, ant icon set from the ant design guidelines. All I'm doing here is just essentially aligning all the icons and using a ruler uh, so we can see um, how they should be aligned. And now I'm just going to move through this fairly quickly once um, we've got the idea of the first icon. All we're gonna do is just align it with the existing icon, lock the layer so that it doesn't move, make it white, and rinse and repeat like so. Awesome. So that's going to form the basis of our navbar now. Um, I did move that through that quickly because I do have another video on how to sort of build a mobile navbar, which I'll include in the card below that you can click on to see more. Now all I've done um, is just made the other three icons about a 30% transparency. And now we're going to move on to the cards. So these cards along the bottom are essentially going to be used by the admin to um, flick between different metrics, so the graph will change depending on what card is in the middle of the screen. So we're just going to build out the first card, and each card is going to have a coloured header that's going to reflect the metric that the admin has added manually, which we won't cover for now. So the first one we're going to do is a purple one, and we're going to give it a shadow so it appears as though it's hovering above the interface, and just bolster up that width of the color some more and that should do. Now every box is going to have a label so that the admin can tell what they're looking for. The first one we're going to go with here is average call length. I'm just going to reduce the size of that and the line height so that it fits nicely within the box. And this will form the basis here now of our uh, every card. So I'm going to put this all into one folder so that I can nicely copy and paste that over and over again, just making sure that it's placed in the middle of the screen and spaced appropriately from the tab bar below. And now we're just gonna copy and paste and change those colors over with the corresponding metric. I am also gonna make these cards hover over the edges of the screen so that the admin, when they're looking at their metrics, can see that they can uh, simply horizontally scroll and they'll be able to access more metrics. So. In this example, um, I'm going to have five. So there'll be five cards, two on the edges of the screen and three in the middle. But what that's suggesting to the user is that there may very well be more. There could be 10 cards. And in order to access the rest of them, they would just need to continually horizontally scrolling. So just to make sure that the user knows what card they're highlighted on, I'm going to change the font of all the inactive or not currently active cards to a book uh, width. And now I'm going to keep that center card bolded so that we get that look and feel and move it up slightly. So that's our cards done. Now I'm just going to add a little indicator up here that shows the user again what um, card they're on and a color to sort of represent that. 
So I'm going to start off here just by doing the average time on call, which is represented by purple. And then place that like so and just give it a label. So we'll call that average call length. And just increase the size of the font slightly and line that up like so with the appropriate spacing. Now what I do want to add here as well is a way for the admin to be able to filter the results that they see. So by default I want to show them the last seven days, the last week, but I do want to give them a drop down whereby they can change it to say a month by month view or a week by week view. So all I'm going to do is make a rounded rectangle over here, um, 18 pixels out from the edge so that it's center with the icon to the left. Just put in week, which is what we're currently on right now. And then I'm going to insert a drop down from the um, icon font plugin again and icon. Here I just want to make sure that it's wide enough and aligned appropriately with that box. And then this drop down is too big. So I'm going to convert it to an outline, decrease the size and just put that next to week also in white. And then we can group them and center them in the box like so. And that'll be an easy way, uh, tap friendly, for a user to be able to change that. We won't make the drop down for now, but that will serve what we need. So let's get stuck into the actual graph itself now. So as I mentioned, I want to do a seven day graph to start. We're going to work backwards from the uh, 8th of Feb. And here all I'm doing is giving each label a 30 pixel spacing. So I'm not going to worry about them being uh, you know, like aligned properly with the screen at the moment. I'm just going to make sure that each one is spaced appropriately. And I'm just going to fix these up now that I've changed the values. And just use this as the basis for building the uh, bar on top of it. So now I'm going to use a rounded rectangle. I'm going to use it 16 pixels wide with no borders. And I'm going to use a little gradient fill I'm going to use the base color as the call length card color and then for the other color I'm just really going to use the same one again with a bit of white tone in it. So now we've got that aligned pretty nicely I want to give it a label on top so that the admin can see what uh, this, this bar actually represents in terms of a numeric value. So I'm just going to take the label and put it 10 pixels from the top and we're going to make it heavy and then just input the value there like so. Now I'm going to group this and all I'm going to do very quickly here is just take it over and over across the rest of the results. And there's the bulk of our page done. Now all I'm going to do here really quickly is group these and I'm just going to space them out another two pixels across from each other because we've got room on the screen left to do it. And now that I've done that, I'm going to put them all in one group and then I'm going to horizontally align that. And there you have it. There's your reports done. If you wanted to take this over to another page, you could just merely copy this over, rearrange the card back into the center of the screen change the font sizes and then all I would do is change the indicator color to suit the card that's in the middle of the screen and then our gradient we can just do the same thing we did before where we take the same color make it a little lighter and then we can just select all the rectangles that we have on the page here and then apply that gradient that we just used. So there you have it. There's some simple graphs for your next iPhone X application. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.